We are weather alert as we look ahead to the risk of severe storms in central and southern Iowa for tomorrow. Anne has the latest on that, but also, Anne, you're following rain that we're going to see tonight. Yeah, and we have the potential to see uh, flash flooding okay. uh, concerns overnight tonight, Stacy, uh, with the heavy rain that's moving out of Nebraska and into western Iowa. That flood watch up for most of western, northwestern, and north central portions of the state here this evening going through early Tuesday morning. Uh, we've got pockets of heavy rain pushing into northern and northwestern Iowa here as of uh, the 10 o'clock hour. Still quiet in central portions of the state, but we've got some heavy rain and thunderstorms uh, moving through uh, central portions of Massouth County, just uh, along Highway 18 here. Emmitsburg, you had a few th storms right over you in the last uh, half hour or so. Those all lifting off to the north and to the east. We head back a little into Nebraska, eastern portions of Nebraska, and eventually into western Iowa. This line of showers and thunderstorms will push through. It doesn't have too many severe thunderstorm warnings on it as of right now. We've got a few down towards Lincoln, uh, but that's about it. We'll see what this does as it continues to progress. Uh, eastward over the next couple of hours. But with it, not only does it bring the potential uh, for showers and thunderstorms, but also that heavy rain that we were talking about uh, where it could potentially put down several inches of rainfall overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Next 12 hours, keep our temperatures back into the 60s overnight tonight. Rain chances for us here in central Iowa, I think ramp up well after midnight tonight. It'll take a little while for those uh, storms to get here and then they'll kind of linger scattered to isolated activity through early tomorrow morning. It's the second half of Tuesday that you'll have to stay uh, weather aware for. We have the potential for stronger to severe storms, especially down towards southeast Iowa in the northern portions of Missouri. That's the orange color that you see. That's level three out of five. Otherwise, most of the state in that slight risk for severe weather. That's the yellow color. That's a two out of five. Biggest concerns here will be the wind behind that, the potential for a few tornadoes and then hail behind the tornado threat there. So wind and tornado probably our biggest threats here as we go through the day tomorrow. But first we get through the rain this evening. Again, those showers and thunderstorms work their way into western Iowa over the next couple of hours, eventually moving into central portions of the state as we head towards the pre dawn hours on Tuesday. If you're up early tomorrow, we're talking four or five, six o'clock. I think there will be showers and storms here across the metro area. It moves out of here by mid morning. There's our break and the potential for the storms, or I should say the potential for the atmosphere to kind of start to prime up the um, the air for the storms later on in the afternoon. Then we head into two, three o'clock, and that's where we see more of those strong to severe storms potentially starting to fire here towards dinner time. They stick with us through seven, eight o'clock, especially across southeastern Iowa, and then they're out of here by midnight tomorrow night. Wednesday, much quieter day. We get a break from all of the action on Wednesday. Again, pockets of heavy rain potentially potential is there tonight through early tomorrow morning. Again, this model giving us an idea of anywhere between maybe three to five inches in some spots, but a lot of us picking up at least an inch to two inches here. That's why the flood watch is in effect as we go through the evening hours tonight. As we go through tonight, temperatures again stay back into the low 60s. Humidity increases tomorrow. We've got more moisture pumping in as well. That's going to fuel those storms. Temperatures in central Iowa into the 80s, a little bit hotter down to our south and east will be weather alert tomorrow. Again, Wednesday looks Looking good, mid 80s Thursday and then low 80s on Friday.